Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're all, you're all, bleh. I hope you all are having an awesome and fantastic day. <sighs> um, so I'm getting close. I'm getting very close to having my makeup collection fully organized and decluttered and I've had my hands on just about everything and played with it to see if I like it, if it's worth keeping in my collection and just kind of purging everything I don't want anymore. And I just have my lip product drawers left. So in the last video I did my lip glosses from my nude and pink drawers and um, I didn't touch my bottom drawer which has the reds and random colors so I'll get to that another time. But in today's video I'm going to go through the rest of my pinks drawer. <laughs> There's a lot. That includes your traditional tube lipsticks and glossy kind of lip balmy type of things and liquid lipstick. This one's going to be a little bit of a longer video if you couldn't tell by that timestamp in the video box. Yeah, the, the whatever. <laughs> I hope you brought some beverages, uh, maybe some boozy drinks of your choice, and uh, maybe a snack or two. Or two. You might need that second snack. Maybe I'll even put an interlude in so you can go to the bathroom. Or you can just pause, you know, whatever works for you. By the way, if you're new here, welcome! Hi! <laughs> if you haven't been here before, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. My name is M, and you're watching Makeup Break. And if you are new here, please be sure to click that subscribe button so that you can come and hang out again with me in the future. You can ring the bell so you're notified of any new uploads. And uh, if you feel so inclined, feel free to share my video and leave a nice comment below. I greatly appreciate that. And that lets the YouTubes know that uh, they should share my video with more people. And I would love nothing more than to hang out with more folks. I feel lonely and um, yeah. <laughs> Such is the life of someone living alone in 2021 in quarantine. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back to it. So these are all my tube lipsticks, all solids, that sort of thing. These are all pencil, jumbo pencils, and those types of things. And then these are all my liquid lipsticks. Well, that's not a liquid lipstick. That is a pencil. Why are my pencils in there? Weird. I'm going to start with... Let's start with the easy one. Let's do these ones first. So we're going to start with this lip pencil. This one is called Tickle Me Pink from Starlux. This one, ooh, that's really pretty. That is a nice kind of mauve berry tone. I'm definitely keeping that because that's really nice. This one is from Wet n Wild and it's called Think Flamingos. Cute little play on words there. This one I actually really do like. I just used this the other day. It's really nice with the gloss over the top. This one is just a soft kind of natural looking pink and it's really creamy and I really like that so I'm keeping that for sure. This one is Be A Bombshell. It's a lip crayon called Shameless. I haven't worn this in a while. Hmm, That's pr kind of interesting. I'm going to try it on really fast. <laughs> okay what's interesting about this color is that while it does have this glitter in it, it's actually not that glittery on the lips. This looks, this looks a little bit more like a lip stain which I'm all about. And I do like this is that this is retractable. So will I wear it though? That is the question. The age old question that I'm not sure about. I already have a feeling I'm not gonna be decluttering much from this little container. Um, only because a lot of these things are things that I still use a lot and I really enjoy. This one's unique. I'm not sure if I'd wear it though, but I haven't really like dug into my collection and brought it out. I'm gonna give it a try. Next time I do any declutter, I will get rid of it if I have not used it. I'm such an enabler of myself. <laughs> okay, this one here is from Pop. This one is called Coral Crush. This one I've worn so many times. I really like it because it's almost like a glossy balm. It is such a pretty color. Definitely keeping that because I do wear it a lot. Next is this Tarte Lip Surgeon pencil thing in a color called Frisky. I ha I'll be honest, I haven't worn this one in so long. And it is really pretty, I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I think it's because of that glitter. I mean, all of these have some sort of sheen and glitter to them, so I don't know. What do you think? By the way, holding my arm like this for so long is really... Ugh. I should do it like this. <laughs> but I didn't want lip color in my arm hair. <laughs> this is hard. Will I wear this? I do really like these Tarte pencil things. So, okay, I'm going to give it a whirl and see if I grab for it. I know. All right, next is this Aurora For All Lip Lovers 
Lively Lip Stain. Oh, I haven't seen this in a while. Since it is a lip stain, I don't want to put it on my arm because it's not going to come off very well. But it is a cool toned, almost orchid color. Okay, I'm going to do it right here. I have forgotten that I had this and I really love lip stains. I think they're perfect, especially for mask wearing. So I'm keeping that and I'm actually gonna put it up to the top so I see it and know to use it. All right, next is this lip liner from Essence. This is called Honeyberry. Oh yeah, I've gotten some use out of this for sure. Ah, oh, that color. That color is so pretty full. I love it. Okay, I am keeping this for sure. I need to use it. Okay, here's this one from Clean Color. This one is called Flower. This was a pencil that I had gotten from my Daiso haul. Okay, this is kind of like that 90s frosty pink. I am going to declutter this one. It's not a lip color that I would ever use, so I am going to go ahead and declutter one at the very least. Next is this MAC pencil. Oh my gosh, this one's so old. This one is a lip glass pencil in rose bound. This was one of my favorites, y'all, for so long. Lip gloss pencils are so nice. They're so buttery and soft and pretty. I don't even know if they still make this, but that is so pretty. I'm definitely keeping it. I probably shouldn't, but I am. <laughs> uh, this one is a Maybelline Lip Blur Cream Matte Pencil with a smudger on the end. This one is called I'm Blushing because it's a blushing pink. Okay, let's see if we can get it open. Um, wait, there we go. <laughs> I made that harder on myself than it needed to be. All right, let's see, right here. Whoa, look at that. That is so pretty and it's so smooth. Okay, I need to remember to use these, my goodness. Because I love matte colors like this. That's like the color I always grab for, except I haven't grabbed for that in, for so, in so long. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, I think I might be decluttering this one too. This one is an everlasting matte lipstick from a brand called Nat Robbins. I don't even know where I got this. Pink icing. Yep, it's hard. It's not creamy at all and it's one of those frosty pinks that I will never wear. Although I kind of want to keep it because I have a look in mind. Actually, I'm going to keep it in my declutter pile, but I have a makeup look that I want to do with a frosty pink. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave it at that for now. And then I'll declutter it. Right, next up is this NYX pencil. I recently got this. This one is called Dark Soul. Oh, look at that. It's like the perfect burgundy deep red wine shade. Uh, keeping faux show. I love NYX's pencils. They're so nice. This one is an e.l.f. lip pencil called Tea Rose. This one is kind of funky. I, ooh, there's a little hair in there. Oh, this is such a weird color. This actually makes me look dead, so I'm going to pass this along. I won't wear this. That's why I didn't wear it and I forgot I had it. Next is this Ardell liquid lip liner. It was a deep red. What is it called? This is called Blindfold. So I'll put it here. It's kind of like a lip stain. It's a really interesting product, but I did notice that with this, my it bled a little bit. I, I tried it a couple of times and found that it feathered, but I haven't tried this in so long that I need to play with it again to see if this is something I need to toss or if I want to keep it. Because it is such a unique product, and I don't want to say it's bad without giving it a fair shake, and it's been so long. So I'm going to keep it for that. And then if I end up hating it, I'll declutter it. <laughs> and besides, that's not pink, that's red. Why is this in my pink drawer? Same with this one. This one is more of a red shade. Apparently I just threw them in here because it was easy. <laughs> Next is this NYX liner in Tangerine. This one is pretty. Put it right here. Okay, this one is an orangey coral shade and I love that for the summer or even the spring. One of my favorite lip looks was to take a liner like this with a soft pink gloss over the top and create kind of the 60s mod look. It was really pretty. I really like this pencil, therefore I am keeping it. This one is also newer to my collection. It's an Illamasqua lip liner in the color called Media. Oops, I need to sharpen this. Let's see. It's a pretty pink though. I really like that. I'm definitely keeping it because I've used it several times. I just realized some of these are kind of similar to each other, but they're also not. Like these are, that's a matte pencil. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Okay, okay, I need to stop. One of my holy grail loves is right here. This is a Marc Jacobs gloss stick called Sweet Escape. These are so fun. I know not everybody likes these, but they're basically a lip gloss in a stick form. And it is the prettiest 
pink shade. It's a little bit cooler toned, kind of a bubblegum pink, but on me, it's just a pretty spring and summer color. Heck, I've even worn it in the winter because I don't care. I do what I want. But I love this. This is one of my favorites. They also have a really pretty nude one, which I think, I thought I bought it, but I guess I didn't. I don't know. I've been kind of, I've realized that I've been losing my makeup. I don't know where I put it, so I'm like, oops. <laughs> But I'm definitely, definitely keeping that. Moving along. Oh, this is not even opened. This is still in shrink wrap, so I'm keeping it because I know I recently purchased this. This is a Sephora pencil. This one is called Loudmouth. So I'll be keeping that. I don't... Pinks. Oh, this belongs in a different section of this drawer, but I'm going to put it in there anyway. All right, next is this NYX pencil called Rosy Sunset. Oh, that glides on so prettily, and it's just like a perfect mango kind of papaya. I don't know what tropical fruit this looks like. <laughs> Guava. <laughs> Any and all the above. I don't know. Tell me what, below what you think this bright pink reminds you of. What tropical fruit? I'm going to say guava. Guava pink. Yeah. I'm going to stick with that my final answer. Do I win a million dollars? I don't know, but I definitely deserve to keep my lip pencil, and therefore I am. Next is another NYX liner. This one's called Nebula. Actually, I'm going to swatch it over here next to this one. Oh, they're definitely different. It's very subtle on camera, but they are very different in person. This one is way more purple, whereas this one's more crimson. I don't have a lot of purple liners, and that's why I bought this, was because I wanted one for some of my purple toned lip colors. So there we go. I am obviously and most definitely keeping that. I told you guys I'm not really doing well with my declutters here with my pencils. All right, this is another NYX one. Can you, can you tell that there's a trend here? This one is called Flower. Okay, I'm going to swatch this next to this shimmering pink one. Oh, actually they're very similar so I'm gonna keep those other two decluttered and I'm gonna keep this one instead so for the look I was telling you that I want to do with that frosty pink this would be perfect for it but this is also one that I, I do see myself using time and again so this one serves two purposes I'm keeping that and I'm most definitely decluttering the others we're getting through them okay here's and what is this did I just put it in the wrong drawer wait a second Okay, I just realized something here. Um, I have this one and this one. They're both from NYX and they're both the same color called a flower. Although, I'm going to declutter this one and keep this one. This one's older and this one isn't as smooth. Oh, this one's called Rose. This one's another NYX pencil. It's similar, but not quite the same. Oh, look at that color. <gasps> oh, I love it. Keep. And another NYX one. Again, I love NYX's liners. Look at this pink. Years ago, I did a video on how to create the perfect hot pink lip for the summer. This was the pencil I used for it because I fell in love with how bright and bold it is, but it's also very wearable. I still love this pencil as much now as I did back then, and I am most definitely keeping that. Here is another interesting product. This one's an, an e.l.f. lip stain. I remember buying this a while back, and I... Oh, this is very similar to that other one. Okay, not as similar as I thought. I tell you, lip stains are coming back. I'm keeping this because I do need to wear this. I think I need to set these at the top so I know to use them. But again, I don't know why this one is in this drawer. Because it's a berry tone, it's not pink. Oh well, I digress. It'll, I'll deal with it later. This one is from Luna. And uh, the color is called Alara. I'm running out of space. Okay, that's an interesting color. It's pretty. Do I see myself wearing this though? That is the age old question, let's find out. While it is really pretty and it feels nice on the lips, it has a nasty smell and it does not taste nice, so I'm decluttering this. When I say crayon, uh, it definitely has that Crayola crayon smell and yuck. I don't want that on my lips, that's gross. Okay, moving along, this one is NARS. This one's their Lip Satin pem Pimple. No, it's not a pimple, M. Yuck. <laughs> this one is the NARS lip pencil called Recu Recusian? Recusian? I don't know how they say that. 
This one is one of my favorite pencils from them. I once used this on my mom in a video and it looked so nice on her and she had a deeper skin tone and this looked so beautiful on her as a nude shade and it looks beautiful on my skin tone even though I'm much lighter and paler than she, she was. So this is one of those almost, I won't say completely universal, but it's a fairly universal shade and I think this one is amazing and I need to pull this one to the top of my collection too because I love it. This one's also a nude. I don't know why it's in the pink drawer. Okay, apparently my disorganization has just spilled over into many, many drawers. So I'm going to like fix that. Whatever, I'll do it later. All right, this one is pretty brand new. This one is from LA Girl. It's their neon lip liner. This one's called Fiery. Look how bold and vibrant that one is. Like this one was bold and vibrant right here. This next one I just said. But then this one just amps it up. Um, and it was only $2 at Ulta. So yes, win, keep. This one's kind of similar. It's a Hot Topic brand. It's a really pretty pencil. It's a very orchid pink shade. I don't have anything else that's quite like this. Although I would like to declutter this. But I don't have any other colors that are similar. Hold on. Okay, here's that Sephora one right next to it. And... They're kind of similar, but kind of not. This one's definitely more purple. This one's still a little bit more pink. So not quite the perfect dupe for it. Uh, do I want to keep it though? Will it be that much of a difference? Well, the Sephora one's also really glossy, whereas this one's matte. So they are different enough. Darn it. I was hoping I could just say it's a perfect dupe or a good enough dupe that I could get rid of the one, but eh, whatever. I'll keep it until I find a perfect dupe. All right, and uh, the final lip liner here is one from Milani, and it is called Pink Sugar. Oh, this reminds me of Pink Sugar Heart Attack, you know, the little dubbed version of Sailor Mini Moon, or AKA Chibi Usa. Pink Sugar Heart Attack! Any Sailor Moon fans? Anyway, that's what that reminded me of. And that is so pale. It's pretty, pretty pale. Did I? How long ago did I buy this? Oh my gosh, my cat looks so cute on the bed. Oh. Okay, if I were to be honest, this doesn't even show up on my lips. So there's really no point in keeping it, especially since I have clear lip pencil. So I'm gonna declutter this one as well. All right guys, so <laughs> no surprise here, but there's quite a bit left. I am going to take these and put them in different locations, but here's what's left in this container. It's a little bit more manageable, especially since I'm reorganizing. And out of 30 total lip liners and pencils, I am decluttering 6 and keeping 24. <laughs> so far, it's not looking so good, guys. It's not looking so good. Okay, let's move on. All right, now we're moving along to the solid lipsticks. I have a good feeling that I'll be decluttering a few out of here. I don't know yet how I'll do though because I do love a good lipstick and I just, I've been, I don't know, I have a hard time you guys. Um, By the way, those lip stains definitely stain my skin. Good thing I need to take a shower this evening because, uh, yeah, the casualties. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. This one is a Maybelline lipstick. It's a wet shine lipstick called Ruby Desire. Let's do it right here. Whoops. Right here. Whoops. That just broke. Um, I think that's a sign. If it just broke, it's time to say goodbye. So goodbye. And to be honest, I would not have worn that. Next is this MAC lipstick. This one is a... Oh, this one's from their new Powder Kiss line. This one's called Sultriness. I got this at IMATS earlier this year, or rather last year. These are so nice. A really nice creamy matte shade. Isn't that color just delicious? I'm obviously keeping this because this one's new to my collection. All right, next is this Icing Expert Lip. <laughs> Okay, icing um, from, icing basically is Claire's. I'm gonna show you this. Okay, you see all that texture? That's glitter, but um, I don't wear glitter lipsticks. I have no idea what convinced me to buy this monstrosity. Should I even, yeah, I'll swatch it. You see that? You can see the hard scratchy glitter in this, and um, yeah, no, and the color is just not that good. And plus, who knows, there might be asbestos or something in here, so, uh, no, goodbye. All right, next is this Too Faced Melted Lip Liquid Lipstick. These were kind of interesting. They don't sell these anymore, but I liked this particular one because it's such a pretty shade. And while it's not super long-lasting, I still like it. I'm keeping that unless I don't wear it anytime soon, which might be possible. This one is called Melted Candy. 
All right, next up is this LA Colors Matte Lipstick, which is still in shrink wrap. This one is called Whirlwind. I'm going to keep it. Um, if I end up not opening this, I might just throw it in a grab bag giveaway. I'm going to go ahead and just choose to do that. I'm going to put this in a giveaway. Not in this video, but in the future. All right, next is this CoverGirl Katy Perry. Oh, I haven't even opened this one. Are you serious? Oh, just kidding. I did open this one. This one is called Cat Call Meow Meow Mine. I loved this collection from Katy Perry and CoverGirl. These lipsticks are so nice. I actually ended up buying the entire collection. I like Katy Perry. I'm not like a super fan, but I am a super fan of these lipsticks. There's something about it. I, I mean, I'm a cat lover, so um, might go without saying that cats and me, like, yes. So that might have been it because these are not these are all inspired by cats. So I don't know. But anyway, this color is really pretty. It reminds me of like the perfect watermelon shade. I know there's not a huge difference between these, but I know the difference. I wish they would bring them back because they were really nice. Alrighty, next up is this. I am going to declutter it. This one's really old. This one has obviously gotten a lot of love because it's already pushed up as far as it'll go. It was a beautiful fuchsia color. I give honor to it and I thank it for its service, but it's time to let it go. Next is this Vasanti Matte Lip Crush. It's your mauve pencil. That is pretty. Oh, oh, will I wear this though? Yes. I like these kind of more grungy 90s kind of colors. So I am going to keep this. And in fact, I'm going to put it in with the other pencils. Although I almost want to say this is a nude, not a pink. What do you guys think? Nude? Pink? This one is a touch and soul, pretty filter, velvet lipstick, and soul rose. This one I actually really like as well. This one I got in an Ipsy bag. It's just a really nice matte lip color. This one's really flattering. I like the packaging on it. It's, even though I don't care much for squares, I like that it doesn't roll around. <laughs> I'm more practical that way, but this is just a really nice color and I'm obviously keeping it because I really enjoy it. All right, let's see another Kitty Cat Matte CoverGirl lipstick. This one is called Magenta Meeks. This one is a basic rose color, but let me show you. Um, yes, that is so pretty. Everything still looks perfect with it. So I'm keeping it. All right, this one is from LA Colors. This one is called Sorbet. Pretty sure this is a Dollar Tree or Dollar Store find. And it has gotten a lot of love because it's down to a nub. Well, looking at it now, I think it's pretty, but it's patchy. It's old. I'm going to declutter this one. This one served me well as well. Oh, okay, I love this one. This one is from NYX and it's one of their plush gel lipsticks. This one is called, this one's called Azalea. Look at that orchidness that's coming out of the tube. Okay, right here. First off, the color. Second of all, that high shine. That, that Hot Topic liner I showed you, that goes perfectly with this over the top. And um, that combination is just beautiful. Oh, yes, I love a good, cool-toned orchid shade. Obviously, given that. Obviously. Did I say obviously? Because obviously. Oh, the only Pat McGrath lipstick I own. I bought this when I got the Celestial Divinity palette because I wanted to try one of her lipsticks, and this was like half off. It's kind of your typical rose color that you'd see in like your mom or your grandma's makeup drawer. Excuse me, makeup bag. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Um, this one, as kind of boring as it is, is super less luxurious and pretty on the lips. This one is called Profumo. I've worn this in a couple of videos, and I just really love how this looks on my on my lips, so I'm obviously keeping it. Next on the list is this Wet n Wild Mega Lip Color in um, Pink Lemonade. Oh, it's one of those classic shimmering pink, icy pink lipsticks from like the early, <laughs> it's like early 2000s. I am not going to keep this. However, for the sake of that video, I'm going to leave it there. Leave it there. Next up is this uh, Prestige. Yeah, this Prestige lipstick called Rayon. Ooh, this one's kind of funky color. That one's really pretty. I, I like that kind of tea rose color. It does smell a little makeup-y, though. Will I wear it? Probably not. Oh, it's so pretty. It'll probably make me look a little yellow. Let me just try it on really fast. Okay. Verdict's in. It's a little waxy. It's a beautiful color and I actually do like the color on me, but it's too old. It's really waxy. It tastes and smells kind of wonky, so I'm going to say goodbye to it. Uh, I hate when that happens. Alrighty, next is this Almay Be Fearless Lip Vibes lipstick thing. 
Almay is one of those brands that isn't highly talked about, at least here on the YouTube space, but I have to say these lipsticks are so fun. I really enjoy these lipsticks. They're really nice, they're really smooth and buttery, and they've got some really great pigmentation. Like this one right here. That is such a beautiful watermelon shade. Okay, I know I have another watermelon shade. I know it's over here. This one is a little bit less shiny, so I'm keeping it. That's my excuse, but I really like it. And I highly recommend those Almay lip ones. Those are so fun. Okay, this is another Wet n Wild lipstick. I'm gonna tell you, I'm already gonna declutter this. Sorry if you're eating a snack. So you can see why I'm gonna declutter it. That looks disgusting. I don't know what that is, but that is not safe to use on the lips anymore. So I'm saying goodbye to that. What is this brand? Oh, this is a Marc Jacobs lip color. This one's called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Cute little sample size, right? I haven't used this in a hot minute. Let's see, let's swatch it right there. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know, I love rose tones on me. I'm a sucker for them, I'm definitely keeping that. And I actually forgot I even had it, so even more of a reason to keep and use it, right? Another little mini sample, this one's from Urban Decay. Don't know what color this is. Ugh, I hate when they don't put names on their samplers, but obviously another orchid shade. Let me swatch it here, next to that NYX one. This one's definitely deeper, and this one's just brighter. Um, they're very different. I don't know if it's coming off on the camera very well, but they are very different. And I um, forgot I had this one too. I need to use this. I love these little mini ones because it makes it easy to try something out without committing to the price of them. Because <laughs> we all know that lipstick can be expensive, y'all. Another Katie Cat matte. I told you I have all of them. This one is called Pink Paws. This is a typical soft pink shade. I'm running out of arm space. Oh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that just a lovely pink shade? Obs keeping. This one is an Avon lipstick, um, and it's really old. I'm just going to declutter this. I'm not even going to try it out because I don't even know how old this is. And I've never grabbed for it. I'm going to say goodbye. Ha! Ah, I love this one too. This one was a limited edition item from MAC in their collection with the Trolls. This one is a frost lipstick called Dance Off Pants Off. And you're going to see why I love it so much. It is such a fun color. Um, let's see right here. That is just steals my heart because it's so pretty. It's kind of got this bluish purpley tint to it. I know it's kind of similar to this one, but it's obviously a lipstick versus a gel kind of glossy thing, but I love this lipstick. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mm, keeping. All right, this color is feathering like crazy. I think that's why the Too Faced ones weren't popular. That one's the Too Faced one and that one is bleeding. Oh, Oh no, maybe I should declutter it. <laughs> Moving along to this Tristique. Oh, there's a bomb in here. Oh, so there is a little bomb. Here's the Tristique lip pencil. That's a really pretty shade. This one is called Belize Bordeaux. So it's a beautiful wine shade. Okay, um, this is just so satisfying. It's magnetic. Barely and ta-da. I love it. <laughs> I'm a child, I'm easily amused. Obviously I'm keeping it. Here's another Wet n Wild lipstick. This one's like a very hot bubblegummy pink. This one is called Dollhouse Pink. And looking at it closely, there are little bumps on it, so I'm gonna declutter this one as well. I'm sad because I really liked this one. I didn't wear it very often because I had to wear the right lip liner with it. And I had to have it's the slight tan so it didn't look too ashy on me. It's time to let it go. It's it's had better days. Oh, okay, this one is an Estee Lauder lipstick. This one is called Radical Chic. I recently wore this one and forgot how much I love it. It's just a really nice pink lipstick. Plus, I have to say, I really like the tube on this because it's flat. It creates these two sharp tips, which make it easy to get into your Cupid's bow and be more precise with it. But I love this lipstick. I purchased this in my recent history, so of course I am keeping it. Next is this MAC lipstick, and this one is also from their Powder Kiss collection, and this one is called A Little Tamed. Ooh, I haven't even used this one yet. Ooh, first swatch, first swatch. Oh, that's kind of similar to this one here, um, but it's not the same. This one is a definite, this one's definitely a different formula. It's really pretty, and it's new, and I'm keeping it. Okay, I am terrible. I'm terrible. This one is Marvelous Moxie Bare Minerals Get Ready With Me Lipstick. It's a mini sample. Let's see, let's put it right here. 
Look how balmy and glossy that is. Oh, that's perfection. Okay, I'm keeping. Next is this Forever 21 lipstick called Vacay. Oh, I forgot I had this too. Will I get it open? This is kind of hard to open. What is wrong with it? Looks like it might be a little broken. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. It's almost similar to that Too Faced one that's bleeding. So I'm almost tempted to get rid of that one and keep this one instead. I don't want to dig for it. I'm going to be lazy right now. I'm going to keep this for now and see if I reach for it. I am so bad, you guys. I don't know. This is more of like a lipstick collection video. Okay, I'm going to declutter this one. Yeah, because that's disgusting. Look at that. It's just gross. It's you. This is a wet and wild one, and it's that shimmering, frosty pink color called Rose that every mom had in her makeup bag. <laughs> oh, this one I like. This one is um, a Bare Minerals one called Never Say Never. It's such a beautiful pink. Look at that. Ugh. Okay, I'm keeping that as well. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to stop apologizing because psh does me no good. Next up is my uh, YSL or Yves Saint Laurent lipstick. This one is called... 09. Is there actually another name for it? No. There is no actual name for it, I guess. They're too bougie to even give it a real name. So it's called 0962P601. I have to tell you, this is such a beautiful lipstick. You pay the bougie price, but the packaging makes it worth it. Look at that YSL imprint there in the tube. It's such a luxurious package and it's got glitter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I wear this a lot. I stopped keeping it in my purse because it was getting banged up so badly, but I have to say I really love this. I used to carry it around with me all the time, and if I needed a little something-something on my lips, that was what I chose. All right, this one is a City Color Lip Balm, and the color is uh, Ultra Pink. Um, I'm not... Okay, that's discolored and gross, so I'm decluttering that not wearing it that I don't even want to show you. It's just nasty. All right, this one is one of my favorite Milani lipsticks. This one is called Matte Orchid. I got this in PR a few years ago, and um, I have to say, it's so beautiful. Okay, I have so many orchid shades, but I just, <laughs> guys, I just can't. I can't part with them. They're like my babies that I don't wear that often. Okay, I need help. Don't send help, but maybe you should. <laughs> All right, this one is a Bare Minerals one called Speak Your Mind. It's also a baby sampler. This one's a nice kind of nudie, soft pink. Oh, oh, what? Look at that. It's more of a nude shade, so I think I'm going to put this in the nude drawer. My cat's talking. Hi, butters. That's so pretty. It needs to live in the top of my lip collection. I don't think that's pink, though. Is that pink to you? Okay, I'm going to keep it in the pink drawer. It's kind of pink. It's... Well, it's also nude. You guys, what color is this? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right, we're getting close. Here's another city lip balm color thing. This one is called Blush. Let's see, this one is in much better condition. <laughs> it's a brighter pink. Ooh, that's also really nice. Oh, you guys, obviously I have a problem. I can't decide. They're all like so similar, I know. Okay, obviously, I'm a sucker for hot pinks and, and orchid colors. Okay, if I had to choose between this Urban Decay one or the City Color one, I would say Urban Decay wins. Okay, definitely keeping that one. Do I really need this, though? No. Will I use it? Probably not, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, it's so hard. I'm not going to miss it. I forgot I had it. I'm going to declutter. I'm going to declutter. I know, I'm so melodramatic. <laughs> Next is this Jordana lip color. This one is called Raspberry. I am so sad. This one is separating and really gross. I am decluttering that for sure. All right, I have a few lip samples here from Avon and Mary Kay. Do I need to keep these? No, I'm going to declutter those. Honestly, I'm, I already know I'm not going to buy them. Next up is this brand new... Huda Beauty Lipstick. I got this at iMats as well. This one is called Honeymoon. Oh, you guys. It's so satisfying to open a brand new lipstick and just see how perfect it is. And then it's like, oh, do I want to ruin that perfection by swatching? Um, hello, yes. The answer is always yes. And look at that color. Okay. I'm... 
obviously keeping that. Alright, there is my messy arm of lipstick swatches. It's time. Oh no, I got it up here too. Okay, that looks like a hickey. <laughs> All right, so my arm is finally clean, and these are all the lipsticks that I'm keeping. And these are the ones I am decluttering, and there are 13 of them, not including these samplers. So out of 36 lipsticks, I am keeping 23 of them. So that's not too, too bad. My battery is dying, so let's see if I can do this. Last up are these liquid lipsticks. There's quite a few in here. There's only a handful that I probably won't keep, but let's just go through it. First one is from Real Her. This one is called Be Limitless. Oh wait, this says it's a lip gloss, so let's see. Yep, it's a gloss. I don't know why it's in that drawer. But that's a really pretty gloss, so I'm gonna stick that in the gloss drawer when I'm done here. So keep. Next is this Paris Hilton liquid lipstick. There's no name to it. I did a whole video on the, these lipsticks a while back. I'm going to declutter this one because it's kind of old. I don't like it. And it's just not. No. I don't like this one anymore. So goodbye. Here's another Paris Hilton one. This one was actually my favorite out of all of them that I tried. And it still smells like vanilla. This one's kind of like a mauve nude shade. And I actually do really like it. The only thing I don't like about this formula is that it's kind of patchy and streaky. That being said, I'm going to declutter this. I don't reach for it because it's kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. So... I'm going to say goodbye to that. All right, next is this Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip Color. This one is called Back to the Fuchsia. That is a bold, vivid orchid shade for sure. Oh my gosh. That is pretty. I don't remember if I liked this or not. I have to try that out again. I don't recall if I liked it or not. So we shall see. Next is from Lime Crime. I know it's a controversial brand. This one is called Rosebud. It's kind of a gloss. It's kind of sheer. But I really, it's hard to tell. I'm sorry, my hands are so stained. It is the perfect soft pink color. And I do really like this one on me, so I'm keeping that. This one's a fun color. I just recently got this. This is from Half Caked, and it's called ASAP. I don't know why this is in the pink drawer, because this is definitely not pink. <laughs> this one's more of a red shade, but I'm keeping that. I'm going to move that to the other drawer when I'm done here. This one's from a brand called Amrish. I got this at IMATS. This one is called Passion Fruit. Oh, that's another good name for these kinds of colors. But look how pretty that is. It's a really nice formula too. I really enjoy this. And I haven't worn it that much, so I need to pull it out of my collection because that is a gorgeous shade, is it not? So I'm keeping that. This one I'm going to declutter as well. It's another weird Paris Hilton metallic lip color. It looks like it would be much better suited for a lip topper, but it's so sheer and weird. Here. It's just, for a liquid lipstick, like, what are you even doing? It's old, and I just didn't really like the formula of those very much. So I'm going to declutter that. Next is from the Balm. This one's the Balm Jour Creamy Lip Stain. This one is called... Is there a name on this? Oh, this one's called Namaste. I haven't seen this one in a while. This one's been kind of hiding in my collection. <gasps> oh, this one is more of a gloss, so I'm going to stick this in the other drawer as well, but that is really pretty, and I'm going to keep that for sure. All right, next is this Sugar Rush Sugar Coat called Sprinkle. I recently got this. I don't know why. Again, this is in the pink drawer, and I have no idea why, because that's definitely not pink. That's fairing reddish neutral brown, but I am going to keep it because it is really nice and it's comfortable to wear. This is another Wet n Wild Mega, lip, Mega Last Lip Color. This one is called Do I Make You Blush? Again, I don't remember if I liked these or not, so I am going to keep this one to give it a whirl. This one is more metallic, and I think with metallics at the time, I was giving them a try when I got this, so I don't know if I like it. I'm going to keep it to try it out and kind of make a decision from there. Ooh, here's an Ofra Liquid Lipstick. This one is called... Oh, this was from their Ipsy collab. It's like unzipped or something. It's a pretty mauve berry tone. I do like their formula. I'm keeping that for sure. I forgot I had this, though, but I need to wear it because that is... Such a beautiful shade. All right, moving along. This one is from Kat Von D. Excuse me, KVD Be Vegan Beauty. <laughs> Lovecraft. Again, why is this in the pink drawer? This is not pink. This is a very brownish nude tone. So that's going in there. I am going to keep them. All right, moving along to this Sephora lip color. This one is called number 115. Sorry, there's no actual name. It's a metallic shade. And I haven't worn this, but I remember really liking how... Ooh. I don't know though. I haven't tried it. I haven't worn this, I'll be honest. So I'm going to keep that and try it out and see if I like it. This one is from Cherry Tree. 
Ooh, that's very metallic. You know, I'm going to declutter that because I don't see myself wearing a liquid lipstick that of that shade. It's just not for me. So, goodbye. Thank you for your service. I have an ABH liquid lipstick here, and this one is called Soft Lilac. Don't remember if I liked this color. Oh, yes, I did. I remember wearing it now. Definitely keeping it. I wish Anastasia would get their crap together so I could purchase more of their liquid lipsticks because I actually do really like this one. This one's nice. All right, next up is this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip. I don't know if they still carry these. This one is called Pink Charge. This one was so fun to wear. Isn't that pretty? I don't even know what to call it. It's like a really happy, pretty pink. I love that shade. I'm definitely keeping it. All right, this one I should probably toss away. These were like the original liquid lipsticks that L'Oreal came out with. These are their infallible lip colors. They were a duo of liquid lipstick with this nice clear balm. And um, I haven't worn this one in forever, but that was such a beautiful pink. And I love this balm. I need to find a balm like this. It's color proof. It's glossy, but it doesn't budge anything. Like, it doesn't melt down any of your liquid lipsticks. This was such a cool product, and I wish L'Oreal never got rid of them because out of all the liquid lipsticks I've ever tried, these were my all-time favorite. Trailing closely behind all of these. This one is called Lover. I talked about this during Emmas. I also love the smell of these. This one is called Romance. And this one is called Dreamer. I absolutely love this formula. It's hands down my most favorite formula of liquid lipsticks ever because they stay in place. They do not budge. They are mask proof. They are comfortable. They're a little sticky, but they're beautiful. Um, and I have like almost all of their original colors, so those aren't going anywhere. I'm keeping those for sure. And to wrap this up, this one's actually new to me. This one is from Ofra as well, and this one's called Cancun. I got this in my most recent order with them. And oh, it's so pretty. I love their formula as well. They're one of my top favorites and I'm obviously keeping that. Here are all the ones I'm keeping. So I'm keeping 18 out of those and decluttering four. Not my best declutter, but you know what? At least I now know what's in here. So that's that. All right guys, so that's that for this declutter video and uh, trust me, there's a lot more. This video is exceptionally long, so I hope you're ready to go rest and maybe watch another video or something. Anyway, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a nice comment below and also subscribe if you haven't yet. I appreciate you being here and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay electric as always. Mwah.